order. Uh, roll call, please. Commissioner Armstrong? Here. Commissioner Brogan? Present. Commissioner Janik? Here. Commissioner Yower? Here. President Wright? Here. Okay, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and, justice and justice for all. Okay, do we have any guests? <laughs> I got the dog in the room here. How about you, Jeff? Anybody sign in? Well, if you're out there in Zoom land, welcome. Uh, Anyway, hold on one second. I accidentally got everything away. Uh, next, I entertain approval of the agenda. I move we approve the agenda. As I presented. second it. So we have a motion and a second. Uh, roll call, please. Commissioner Armstrong? Aye. Commissioner Brogan? Aye. Commissioner Janik? Aye. Commissioner Dower? Aye. Isn't it right? Hi, thank you very much. Next up is the finance report. Uh, Commissioner Yower. Yeah, uh, finance report, all we have is the expenditure and payroll, and we all got copies of it. So any concerns or questions? I have one question about the expenditures on, uh, on page five. I guess this is the monthly expenditures. Regards to um, reimbursement account of $7,748.58, is, is that due to uh, losses of revenue at uh, the, the weddings at Hoosier Grove Park? Yes, yes. It is? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Reimbursing the refund account, Rich, for um, yeah. No, I, I signed a bunch of checks a couple of days ago. And was amazed, but we're losing a lot of money on the wedding now. So. Mm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or concerns, or does the um, director or anyone want to add anything, or do we move on to the next thing? And so that's all for me, um, uh, President uh, Wright. Thank you, Commissioner Yower. Next up, we have policy and planning, which I guess is a lot of that's in the new business, Director. Correct. Jim? That's correct. Okay, so why don't we move down to uh, entertain a motion for a motion for approval of the consent agenda? Move we approve the consent agenda as presented. Okay. I second it. Okay. Any discussion? Roll, no. call, please. Commissioner Armstrong. Um, I. Commissioner Brogan? Aye. Commissioner Janik? Aye. Commissioner Yower? Aye. President Wright? Aye. Uh, next up, correspondence. Anybody have any correspondence they wish to share? <laughs> we got yes. a couple emails. Um, I don't know if everybody was copied on that. There, I, had, I got two emails this week about two parks, Oak Ridge Park, and then the mowing um, issue with right. Cornerstone. So I forwarded those on to um, Executive Director Janda. And I think um, yep. Director Janda will be addressing them mm -hmm. in his report. Yeah, okay. great. Right, it seems like that we have, uh, <clears throat> we got the same one, Adriana. Yeah. It seems like that we have people that are mad that the lawn is too long and then they're mad that the lawn is cut. And we just, you know, I guess Jeff will uh, talk about it later, but it's yeah. like a no win. Yeah, so my question with South Wick Park, though, didn't they, their association, because a couple of years ago we were redoing the park, didn't they want say as to how it was done because they were really particular about that park? Or am I thinking of a different park? Commissioner, I'll have to look into that because that's before okay. my time. But yeah. I can tell you the South Wick, we did cut that last week. Okay. It's growing that fast. Oh, yeah. My lawn is like crazy. <laughs> and it's Commissioner Brogan, if I, I'll just, I'll just mention it now. I did speak to the people or email the people that contacted everybody, and it's true. It's the grass is growing so fast that if we don't cut it, at some point, we we'll either have some more damage or it's just going to look like a hay right. field we're done. So, kind of have a choice. We can cut it, 
and it looks wet. There's no real turf damage. It just looks dirty and because of the stirrup of the dirt or we can let it grow. And then we've got the other look. So just we've had eight inches of rain in the last week. So. All right. I agree. Else? Yeah, I, I have one question for uh, Dr. Jeff. Uh, I, I got a disturbing email from you a week or so ago about a child, possible child abduction at the Hoosier Grove. Uh, did the police uh, have any uh, idea of what happened? The police were investigating that the last I heard on that, and, and I apologize. I thought I put an email out to a few people about that, but uh, they checked their videos and everything, and there's no corroborating video or evidence that it actually occurred. So, okay. Well, thank you. Right. Sir. And when I talked to the police, Rich, I talked to the police, and they said it was something that. Uh, they reported eight hours later, and it was uh, of some individual. How do you, there's no, I mean, the way that we were talking about it is how are you going to abduct a child on a bicycle? So I, it just seemed weird. So I don't know. I'm not saying that, you know, that maybe I don't even know. I don't know the situation, but it just seemed weird. If that someone's on a bicycle, you're not going to on a bicycle. No, it's so just, it just seems. Got me a little. We did have um, also another one from uh, from a resident yesterday, and I addressed it with Jeff. And I know we're looking into it. Uh, somebody was doing pull-ups over at Hoosier Grove, and, and obviously the playground's closed. And the lady said it was closed, and there were some words and I guess some threats. It was on a, the Streamwood Facebook page, but they were deleted. But I know we're looking into that, and uh, the guy said he'll be there at either 10.30 or 1.30 today. I walked there at 10.30 or 1.30 today to look around. There was nobody. Um, so just just so you know, if you hear no stories, just pass it to Director Janda so we can talk to uh, the police department and see if any of them take care of it. Thank you. Anything else? Next up, department and director's report, Director Janda. All right, we're gonna try something new today. Let's see if I can make this work. Can you guys see the screen? Yep. Where it says yep. Streetwood Park District? That's cool. All right. These are some of the flowers we've taken pictures of this spring within our park system. So this month, COVID-19 crisis management team has been meeting weekly. We've ordered 100 washable masks for staff. We have 800 disposable masks for staff and guests as needed. We had four unemployment claims filed. Projected gross revenue loss through May, according to the budget, 680,495. That's due to the shutdown. Estimated wow. payroll deduction reduction, including IMRF and taxes, 126,695. Wow. We have no staff that have any reported cases of COVID, so we're happy about that. As we return to work and social distancing plans are in development, safety training procedures are in development. We've posted federal requirements as, as needed. Uh, we also keep uh, COVID-19 information on our website. With the Hoosier Barn shutdown, we've brought in about 66,000 in deposits and payments since the shutdown began, paid out 38,000 in refunds, with a net position of about 28,000. Most rentals for now and through into July have been postponed. We have an EAP program in place for all employees through June 14th. We've been working with Paderma for health insurance eligibility through May 31st, regardless if staff are working or not. We routinely send out emails to all staff, both essential and furloughed. We <laughs> offer virtual programming to the community and our facilities are being checked daily. Am I going too fast for you guys? No. All no. right. So we had a modified park pride, which took place on Saturday the 16th. Very excited. We had 31 park signs planted by local families practicing safe distancing. I just want to commend uh, Amy Vito and Ian and all of his staff. They did a fantastic job. Uh, as I said, we had over 125 volunteers. 
A uh, little bit more about stuff, uh, virtual programming or preschool is concluding. Uh, tomorrow will be graduation. All upcoming events, as we've talked about, including cellar, summer celebration at this point are canceled. Uh, we will be doing the Streamwood Stride virtually in 2020. More information will be coming out on that by June 14th. I don't have to make virtual pancakes, do I? <laughs> sure, sure. Then we also have a virtual program guide that uh, Steve and his staff, along with Jersey, have been working on. Uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. I can email this to you later. I don't want to read it verbatim, but there's a lot of different things we're trying to offer. Parks and planning. The Park Place gymnasium and dance floor were stripped, restriped as needed, and then resealed. We have had some flooding reported in the low levers of the barn and farmhouse. It's been dewatered and cleaned. The museum ADA ramp is being resurveyed and areas out of compliance are being replaced. That project was started in 2017 and it will be finished this year. Uh, additionally, the cost to install ADA actuated <clears throat> doors at the museum at the lower level and side doors about $12,000 to make it purely, purely or fully ADA accessible. Right now, the ramps are there, they'll be finished up, but the doors are not accessible. Under the Parks Department, um, we've been slowly bringing people back. You can see that Eddie Sergata, Rob Burke, Steve Meyer, Mark Bell have all returned to work. Uh, it's allowing us to catch up on things. Fleet, Eddie is doing a fantastic job. Uh, we're getting all our vehicles ready to go. We have four part-time workers mowing. Uh, as you can see, we've, according to Ian, we've had over nine inches of rain this season. So that's really affected our mowing schedules. Uh, that kind of goes back to the Oak Ridge and uh, Southwood Park issues. Playgrounds, tennis courts, and basketballs, football, skate park, all the amenities remain closed. We have been given the okay by the state to open tennis courts. We just have not done it yet because of the weather. Uh, parks do remain open for safe use of walking trails and park space. I do have pictures, uh, and thank you to Commissioners Wright and Brogan about some of the flooding on the pathways. We'll be taking a look at our options on that. Weekly litter and garbage collection continues, and uh, just kudos to that whole department. Athletic fields, as you know, remain closed due to the ex uh, executive order. Uh, we do have staff. Jake will be coming on to start looking at potential leagues in late July or early August if the phase five allows it. As I mentioned, we have virtual program guide going on and social media posts are being updated by marketing. For a little bit of recap just for April for Hoosier Grove. As you know, all facilities are closed. Barn deposits for April, 39,884. Barn refunds, 19,580 for a net position of 20,303 for April alone. And then as I mentioned, all the banquets and events through July have been or are currently being rescheduled for a future date. Mm -hmm. At this point, day camp will be virtually held through June with staff attempting to plan and run an in-person in day camp beginning July 6th if we can do it safely. Um, we're taking safety first and foremost on this matter. Uh, really proud to say that our preschool, 50 preschool students participated in our online learning program. Uh, students were $32 charged of their already paid, so $1,600 in revenue. Tomorrow will be our drive-through preschool graduation at the Park Place, uh, where families with their child will be able to drive through and pick up their certificate or diploma from the teachers at the front site. So kind of happy about that. Um, then lastly, as I mentioned, April 22nd through May 18th, scheduled uh, program refunds totaled 8,272. And then scheduled program funds placed on household accounts for programs canceled during the same time, 51,309.94. So any questions on my report? No, I like this setup. This is very cool. Well, I want to give credit to where credit's due. Uh, Elizabeth and Ian brought this to my attention. Elizabeth was the one who really showed me how to do it, and uh, I like it myself. Great job. Great job. Next up is commissioner's report. Any commissioners have anything they wish to report? Yeah, I've been um, driving around the uh, parks because I'm bored, and... Uh, Commissioner Park was really loud today. They were chopping up something back there, trees and stuff, but it's looking good. 
and uh, the parks are looking good. I totally agree with um, what was said today is that you got dandelions that are like, you know, a foot tall and people are saying like, that looks like garbage and you got stuff that needs to be cut. So as much as it's weird, I think it's the right thing to do to uh, be, you know, cutting the lawns and what have you. So, but other commissioners park is moving along really good. Anybody else? Yeah, myself, Commissioner Danik. I just want to say I want to thank everybody for their condolences about the passing of my brother. It was, it was very tough for me. Uh, well, Good thing was, Rich, you took very good care of him his last few years, and you should be proud of that and a chance to have a relationship to the very end. I took him in because he was homeless in Chicago. I found out, went down there and found him, and then found out that he had a kidney disease and I had to take him to dialysis uh, three times a week at 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, eventually, towards the end of his days, he developed cancer and even had a heart attack. So uh, he's at peace now. Sorry for your loss, uh, Rich, but you took really good care of your brother. God bless, Rich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Commissioner Armstrong, you have anything you wish to add? Or is that no. Commissioner Yower? Okay, um, no, just we need to keep staying home and, and you know, doing the social distancing and uh, wear masks when we go out. Everybody should be wearing masks when they go out. Thank you. Uh, next up, President's Report. Just real quick, um, I know a lot of stuff will be covered by uh, Director Jan about some phone calls we've had with our elected officials about grant opportunities and everything. Um, it was really said Commissioner Brogan and I walked out to a couple of parks as many as we could to thank the people that were out there. We know Commissioner Janik obviously was doing a park and you know walked around our neighborhood and people were just very nice to see individuals that are out there when you know we're in a new new world if you will and they're out there doing it and enjoying it and very grateful to have the opportunity and I'm very grateful that they came out and did it. Very nice. So well done everybody that and excuse me one second as everything in my system just crashed um, please bear with me um, so that's all I got next up unfinished business you hey uh, can I mention something yeah um, Jeff do you want to talk about uh, something that the uh, streamwood's gonna put a sign up uh, congratulating all the um, kids that are uh, going to be graduating. Actually, what I was mentioning is we had gotten a call today from the Booster Club about putting a sign up at Hoosier because uh, U46 at first was not going to allow them to put a sign up recognizing all the graduates. Uh, by the end of the day, I did get a call back from John Beto from the Booster Club in that U46 had changed its mind and allowing them to put the sign where it belongs at Streamwood High School. Oh, but cool. But we were prepared cool. to allow them to put it at Hoosier, allow people to go up, take pictures, things like that. So, excellent. Right. Okay. Next up, unfinished business. <clears throat> no, nah, new business. Guess we're doing our annual election of board officers for the year. Um, guess I'd open up the floor for nomination for board president. I move to nominate Bill Wright for president of the Stream of Park District Commissioners. Second, uh, I need a second on that. I'll second it. Okay, any discussion? Uh, I want to nominate uh, Rich Janiak for president. Is there a second? I'll second it. Uh, 
Uh, Secretary Perry? Yeah, I guess we're going to have to call the roll. We can't do yeah. it any other You have to uh, close the nominations first. Uh, is there anything else that need to be nominated? Close all the nominations then. All right, I'm going to take a vote on it because I can't do it any other way. Commissioner Armstrong? Is this for, who, who, do I say who? Yeah, yeah, why don't you say either uh, Bill or uh, Rich, yeah. Bill. President Wright, okay. Um, Commissioner Brogan? Uh, Bill Wright. Okay. Commissioner Janik? Um, is this for, we have to name the person or just? Uh, just, just, yeah, just either, you, either President Wright or, or you. Okay, then I'm gonna vote President. You're gonna vote for you, okay. Commissioner Yower? For Rich. Okay, and President Wright or Commissioner Wright or whatever? Uh, I'll vote for myself. Okay, President President Wright is president of the Park District Board now. Up next, uh, we take nominations for Board Vice President. I move to nominate Rich Janik for Vice President of the Streamwood Park District Board of Commissioners. We most you have a second. I will second it. Are there any other nominations? No more nominations? Those nominations. Um, did we just solve this vote yes? And how do we do this? <laughs> okay. I'll go through it. Commissioner Armstrong? Um, yes. Commissioner Brogan? Aye. Commissioner Janik? Aye. Commissioner Yower? Aye. President Rice? Aye. Next up, we have the annual board appointments for fiscal year 2020 to 2021. We see everybody's had a chance to look at that. Would it be all right just to pass a motion to accept uh, the nominations as presented to us for the annual board appointments for the fiscal year? Can I, can I make a comment before we uh, vote on that? Go ahead. I like the idea of uh, Larry Pikars being the ethics officer. I think that was a, a good, good choice for uh, ethics officer. So I'm all in favor of all the nominations. Um, and then, yes, I will vote on all of the nominations. Why not? I'd like to make a motion then to accept all the annual board appointments for the fiscal year as listed. I, 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 okay. I, I make a motion. Then I okay. second. Okay. okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, motion passes. Next up, discussion and consideration to authorize development and submission of a grant for Rebuild Illinois Fast Track Public Infrastructure Program. Director Janda. Thank you. Uh, do you have a memo that was included in your packet? Uh, the state has come out and they have a process this year called uh, Rebuild Illinois, but due to the COVID and the high amount of unemployment, they have split the $50 million grants awards into two $25 million and they've created a fast track re rebuild Illinois and a regular rebuild Illinois. Uh, the fast track sets it apart in that uh, it's on a scoring basis. It basically the first, it comes first, it first come first serve based on the scoring. If you score it to the points that they want, they will give you up to but not more than $5 million, uh, not less than $500,000 towards a project. So what we're looking at is even though we had submitted a park grant for the community center, which is about $2.2 million, we would be looking to submit a grant also to the, uh, at this point to both either the fast track or the regular rebuild Illinois public infrastructure program uh, to handle the renovations that are needed there. 
Uh, the interesting thing is where the park grant was a 75% match, this is a 100% funding. There is no match required. So what we're asking for here would be the authorization to put together the grant requests and submit them. Uh, we estimate it should be about $4,000. Any comments, board? No. Perfect. I'd entertain a motion for approval of rebuild Illinois Fast Track Public Infrastructure Program. I move we uh, approve it. I'll second, second. it. Okay. Roll call, please. Okay. Commissioner Armstrong? Aye. Commissioner Brogan? Aye. Commissioner Janik? Aye. Commissioner Yower? Aye. President Wright. Aye. Um, next up, discussion and consideration of contract and professional services provided by DLA Architects related to the renovation of the community center as part of the rebuilt Illinois Fast Track Public Infrastructure Program. Okay, you have a memo on that as well, <clears throat> outlining the details. Uh, regardless of which grant program, or even if we waited for uh, other funding, bonding, whatever, at some point, we still need to make architectural drawings, engineering calculations, bid documents, and put it to bid. Uh, as part of the fast track, if we are awarded the fast track, we have to be ready to be shovel ready, meaning we can start construction within 90 days of the approval from the state. So that means we would need to move forward earlier than later to get the, the drawings done. Uh, what I do want to point out, it, uh, basically it's 9% of the lowest competitively bid cost received. Uh, so if we take a $2.1 million project at 9%, uh, the architect's cost would be about $189,000 plus reimbursables. Um, DLA was help, the ones who helped us with the original schematics as we worked on both park grants. We do have an existing uh, relationship with them, so we don't have to go to professional service selection. Um, the interesting thing is, as I mentioned, it's 100%. So while the 100% Grant, if it's a if a, we receive that, uh, the easiest way to say it is, under the park grant, we would still have to pay about four hundred forty-four thousand dollars of our match. Here, the hundred eighty-nine thousand we would have to put up front would not be reimbursable, but it's less than the four hundred forty-four thousand we would have to pay through the park grant. But regardless, we need to to do this step to move forward on the renovation. We know that the roof is leaking to the point where we're not really using the gym at this point. We have huge tarps in there. So we need to reinvest and fix up the building. What's We'd be asking for permission to move forward to retain their services. If for some reason we found out that uh, we need to put a stop to it, we can tell them at a certain point to stop. Just the drawings themselves would be at a 75% um, retainage on that. And it's broken down in there. Construction documents are 75, bidding is 5%. And then overseeing of construction, if we were to go that route, would be the last 20% of the fee. You have a copy of their proposal as well in your packet. All right, what's the time frame on us uh, getting the payment in? And um, um, when is the work going to be completed? Well, Again, the, the billing of this, the time frame, it would be billing as they go. Uh, if we want to use this, we would have to, let's just say we submit a grant opportunity uh, for this grant by May 31st, and we get notice, say, June 30th, we would have 90 days from there, so 120 days to start actual construction. It's a fast-paced project with the way the state has this structured at this point. And do we have the finances in place to, uh, to do it? We do have the finances, but keep in mind that uh, even with the uh, Commissioner's Park, we do have in the budget this year our annual rollover bond of $1.26 million that would cover a large portion of this. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? I'd entertain no. a motion to uh, move forward with uh, contracting the professional services of PLA architects. Motion. I motion. I move we approve. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Uh, roll call, please. Commissioner Armstrong? 
aye. Commissioner Brogan? Aye. Commissioner Janik? Aye. Commissioner Yower? Aye. President Wright? Aye. Um, Mr. President, could we just back up for one second? Yes. Under item D for the uh, authorization, or at item C for the authorization to develop and submit a grant. Yes. Um, just want to clarify that that final approval is for either the fast track or the regular rebuild. Just want to clarify. Right. Okay. Yes. Lastly, then, if we're all successful if, with submitting a grant, getting a grant, getting everything ready, we would also ask then, because of the time frame, that we be we would request that we'd be able to let out for bid at the proper time the project of the renovation of the community center. Again, this would not happen unless yeah, that's fits. right. We need to vote on this? Yes. Because we have to be shovel okay. ready within 90 yep. days, right? So we have right. to be right. able to right. get people to bid on it. Yep. Make a motion. That Excellent. We, that we move forward. Motion. We have a second. All right, second. Oh, Samuel Roll Tangus. call, please. Commissioner uh, Armstrong. Hi. Commissioner Brogan? Aye. And a thumbs up. Commissioner <laughs> Janik? Aye. Commissioner Yower? Aye. President Wright? Aye. Um, One last piece of uh, information, Mr. President. Uh, uh, e, you mean? It would be uh, actually F. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, this came up tonight. So as you know, with, now that we're going to be submitting, we're going to be hosting a, another public hearing, which because of the circumstances will be via Zoom. We're looking at most likely May 28th. Uh, so that notice will be going to the paper for Thursday. It's, we have to give it seven days. Furthermore, I have been in contact with people throughout the state. And today I spoke to uh, Joe McCohen, who is the Northern Illinois head of DCEO and their programs. I have a phone call with him tomorrow morning because he also wants to see if there's other programs that could assist us in this matter. So state's been very receptive to this. So we had to make a motion to, for a public uh, I, I didn't hear that properly. What are you doing on May 28th? We're looking to host a public hearing that's required for this grant. And it would be by Zoom like this. Okay, so. and do the commissioners have to be at the public hearing? I assume. Oh, like they have a few of the commissioners, but there's no requirement that all of them have to be here. It's oh. it's a public okay. hearing. It's not an official board meeting. It's not. A, okay, fine. Okay, got it. Thank you. So I think we have to make a motion to approve the uh, public hearing date. Correct. I move. I move we approve the public hearing. I second it. Motion and second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Uh, Commissioner Armstrong? Aye. Commissioner Brogan? Aye. Commissioner Janet? I Janik? need a haircut. <laughs> Commissioner Yower? Aye. President Wright? Aye. If there's any changes as of tomorrow morning on the exact date after I speak to the state, uh, we'll make the adjustment. As, a, as needed to. It'll be seven o'clock. Yes, it'll be a seven o'clock meeting. All right, next up, I'd entertain a motion for adjournment. I move we adjourn. I Have second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, everybody, Aye. be safe. Bye, Adriana. Have a good night. <laughs> Sorry. Good night, guys. Bye. <sighs> Take care, everybody. Love you. <laughs>